Our last night together was amazing. Dinner on the yacht, champagne, music, then back to his mansion on Star Island. That night he really opened up to me. We talked. He told me about his dreams and some things that he was looking forward to doing. He apologized for doing me wrong, as he says. He said if he could go back in time, he would erase every moment of pain that he's caused me. He told me that he was going to divorce his wife. He said he wanted to start over with his children. I was losing focus. Everything he was saying sounded so good, so right. But then I remembered that he's been making empty promises for the last five years and nothing has changed. So I shook the mushy feelings and I got back into character. I told him I wanted to get comfortable and I walked into the bathroom, took my clothes off and stepped into the shower. I knew he would join me. That was our routine. I hated him for all the things that he had done to me, but out of all the wrong and as weird as this may sound, he taught me how to enjoy sex. So for one last time, I allowed him to touch me, to have me. It felt so good I didn't want to stop. The water was warm and his hands smoothly glided up and down my bare back. The passion that we shared is unexplainable. But he was an evil man, evil to the core, a mastermind of destruction. I feel sick. I make myself sick just knowing that I was ever turned on by someone who had so much evil inside. But I'm no better. And our plan to take his life was one plan that I wish I'd never participated in. I can't believe I allowed her to convince me to set him up. Yes, he cheated on both of us. He lied to me. He told me that he loved me, said he wanted to marry me, wanted me to step in and help him raise his children. He said he wanted me to give him a boy, his namesake. Little did I know he had told Clarissa all the same things before he married her. What a lack of originality. We both fell for it. But nothing that he ever did will excuse the fact that I seduced him that night and I left him there to die. <sighs> she walked upstairs. We had the perfect plan. <sighs> we were gonna say that she shot him in a moment of rage but when she pulled out the gun, I changed my mind. I didn't want her to kill him. There I was standing naked, dripping, wet. And he was yelling her name, calling her a crazy bitch, telling her to do it, do it, pull the trigger. He told her if she didn't do it, she would regret it. He said, You'll leave this marriage with nothing and you'll never see the kids again. <laughs> Something was strange. She didn't say a word and she had a mask on. She was dressed in all black, like she was trying to be a professional killer or something. All that extra, <sighs> that wasn't in the plan. Clarissa wanted Blake to know his killer. After the gun was fired, she ran and left me. I don't think it was Clarissa.